Charles Darwin. Grizzly Adams. Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the White. Santa the Claus. Abe Lincoln. Daniel Day-Lewis playing Abe Lincoln. Eric Newman. All great men. All great beer. Osama bin Laden. Charles Manson. Zach Galifianakis. Order. Order. Strike that from the record. The jury will disregard Miss Newman's previous statement. I think we can all understand Mrs. Newman's concern. Imagine you're a mother. Suddenly your beautiful baby boy is blossoming into a big burly bear of a man. That change can be unsettling. And that's what this beard symbolizes. Change. When did you first start growing a beard? Two years ago. Did you notice anything change? Baristas were spelling my name right. I'd sit down in a bar and whiskey would just magically appear in front of me. So you'd say it's all pretty sweet, right bro? Yeah, yeah bro. Ob objection! Uh, leading the defense with bro cliches. Sustained. Sorry, Your Honor. Uh, Eric, did you notice anything different with the way females were treating you? Yeah, I feel like women are just generally making more eye contact with me in public. My girlfriend loves it. I'm saying it's all about it. Okay, okay. objection again. I'm sorry, Your Honor. You're doing all it's too much pounding. Sustained. He's touch they're touching fingers. All right, all right, I'm sorry, bro. Now I ask the court, how could Mr. Newman not be expected to grow a beard? Has his testimony not made it clear that as the facial hair of a man grows, so too does the mutual respect and admiration of his fellow man, his female acquaintances, and himself. Thank you, Eric. Thank you. A piece? Of evidence. Dude, are you serious? Dude, I am so serious. What I hold in my hand is a binding contract from 1992, wherein one Eric Newman agreed to never grow a beard, hmm? Signed in what forensics experts have identified as Mango Tango Crayola. Objection! Sustained. Mr. Preston, you know this is not admissible as evidence after the Gerber baby versus Crayola verdict. Disregard this. All right. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to call my client, Miss Paula Newman, to the stand. Now, uh, Miss Newman, when did you first notice your son's, uh, beard? I'll never forget. Uh, my little Eric came over on Tuesday. We had a beautiful dinner, and I saw him, and I saw a little um, scruff, oh. you know, like a little stubble. Oh, and his shirt was also so wrinkled. I bought him an iron. Does he use it? No. Objection. Sustained. Ms. Newman, that's a separate case. We settled that last week. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, Paula, did you ask him to shave on this night? Of course. Oh. Of course. You wouldn't know it, but under that... Monstrosity is actually a very handsome young man. Oh, I'd believe it. Yeah. And, and what do you think um, motivated him to um, engage in this behavior? The girl. The one right there! Oh, I see. And then would you say that it's unfair, nay, unjust even, for him to keep this uh, beard? Yes, of course. Listen, I did not sign up for this, okay? Now, Eric's father was no angel, but he knew where to draw the line. So his father never wore a beard? Never. Never, ever. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, as you can clearly see, there's no way my client could have reasonably assumed that her son would come to neglect his grooming habits in such a way. It is for this reason we believe that she is entitled to mandatory court-ordered clean shave. Uh-huh. To be enforced by weekly parole visits to a residence for brunch. I mean, would it kill him? It would not. It certainly would not. Oh. Thank you, Paula. Mrs. Newman, earlier you stated under oath that Eric's father never wore a beard. I think you said, uh, he never wore a beard. Is that correct? Yes. Were you not listening? Uh, I was. What date did your courtship begin? March 1978. Do you have any more horrible questions or can I go? Yeah, we're pretty much done with the questions. 
We just have a compelling piece of evidence. Right here I have a photograph of Eric Newman's father from 1981. And what's that there on his face? Where did you get that? That's robbery. We're in a- why It's would... a beard! You know it, Mrs. Newman! You love that beard! You loved how it made him feel powerful and sophisticated! You love the feel of his, his bristly girth caressing your face! You loved that beard for the same reason that Eric's beard pisses you off now. Because that beard belonged to a man that made you feel like a woman. All right! Sorry. It's true. I loved it, okay? I never hated the beard. I never hated the beard. I just hate that my... And Eric, my son, let it grow. Defense rest. Next on the docket, Mr. and Mrs. Jefferson versus their daughter's tramp stamp.